It's Sunday, February 26th, 2012, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. About two in the afternoon, and I'm going to see what it's like to ride Leslie on a Sunday afternoon in February. Uh, just missed my bus. That's my my best interlocutor on the last trip was the bus. Southbound on Leslie. holes in the pavement. In the bike lane I used to take the middle lane. Nobody coming. <coughs> so to avoid the bus this time. I'm gonna take the alley out to the left here. on app to avoid that corner which is a tad dangerous we got a one way south now to Queen and it's all clear ahead of that bus way ahead Well, this is Leslie. Head cam seems to be working very well. Here we are at Eastern. There's the entrance off Eastern to Loblaws. There's the chicane on the west side that makes it a dangerous corner. And now we're coming up to the Loblaws Price Choppers exits and entrances add so much volume to the street. Traffic volume, car volume. Lakeshore. Pretty nice day. Got somebody turning right in front of me. They don't exist. So many drivers have no depth perception. So many human beings have bad depth perception. On a bicycle, your life's in danger. You, you assume. After some experience, you assume they don't see you. Some people do have a good depth perception. Like that one guy might have been making a turn, going full well with my vector. But that's so unusual. Well, this is where this construction is. Pretty well 
stop for the maintenance facility. Commissioner's Road. I think I'm going to turn around here. We'll do it legally. Signaling a U-turn here. And there we go. I got a red. So unlike yesterday's video, we'll follow the rules a little bit. Well, uh, absolutely, completely. It's what I usually do. Fully, completely. There we go. I hear something coming up behind me. I hope I don't get run over. So I'll sneak off the road onto the former Martin Goodman Trail. Now the what's it called? Waterfront Trail Recreation Trail, I believe. In its loop around the Portlands. So uh, this is the bicycle experience coming north to Lake Shore and Leslie. Wouldn't it be nice if commute ways were like this all over the city? Real cycling infrastructure. So here we come to mix with the pedestrians. On this February day, there aren't any. Waterfronttrail.org, never heard of it. I guess that's uh the brand for the for the Martin Goodman Trail around the Portlands. I guess that's a good thing. We got a light. Now we got a person turning right here across my trail. Notice we get separated bicycle signals here. Different colored pavement. So we'll take the bicycle pavement here. And then we'll merge across the pedestrian way to the Leslie. So here we are again at the Loblaws Price Choppers three lane entrance as exits. I proposed uh, entrances off of Lakeshore, but apparently there's lots of political problems with that. It would destroy the uh, waterfront trail along there if uh, every business along there wanted their own entrance. So that land's been deemed parkland. So no egress. Well, if all days were like Sunday, we don't need bike lanes on Leslie. So here's where the problem is, there's no way to make the street wider with all these buildings right up close already, especially uh, north of Eastern. Same thing with the, the Duke Hotel, it's right on the edge, so the street's as wide as it's going to be. So we have to decide what the priorities are. Get 
back to the alley and avoid that corner at Jones and Leslie. All intersections are built for cars and feel a little dangerous to me. If I can avoid them, I do. I'm going to head home, see if this works, see how the audio looks, see how the video looks, and uh, then we'll go out and do a We'll do a ride to Tommy Thompson Park and have see have a look see how bad those speed bumps are. Avoiding all the potholes along the bike lane here. Left. Into my driveway. And I'm home. <laughs>